Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Three quarters of what is said here can be completely discounted as the raving of imbeciles. Imagine. That's fair. Believe it or not, friend, he's the least of the evils you have to contend with here. With its blood <laughs> and buxom wenches, <laughs> Blood of the Vampire immediately feels like classic Hammer. There are no words to describe the horror of that name. But actually, this was released by Artists Alliance in 1958, hot on the heels of Hammer's early successes, Curse of Frankenstein and Dracula, both written by Jimmy Sangster. And it was... Possibly why it feels like an odd blend of both. Just to be clear up front, I quite like Blood of the Vampire. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's any good. la de da I called it. The film opens with a vampire execution. <laughs> After which we meet hunchbacked assistant Carl, who keeps forgetting whether or not his arms work. He picks up a doctor to help fix his master. Go away. I love a vampire with the foresight to keep a doctor on call. Even if that vampire looks like Dracula's embarrassing uncle passed out drunk at the end of a wedding. I'm not interested in your opinion of me. Played by Shakespearean actor Sir Donald Wolfitt. What I'm doing is no concern of yours. The plot then skips to Dr Jean-Pierre, condemned to a prison for the criminally insane for a crime he didn't commit. Did you not discover that to inject one type of blood into a body bearing a different type could be dangerous, even fatal? To my cust. Or possibly did, it's a bit vague. The point is, guess who's running the place? I am Dr Callistratus. Callistratus is a scientist. You must be mad. That sort of goes without saying. And he has a particular interest in blood groups. For want of a better name, I'm calling them Group A and Group B. I can see that catching on. I don't understand. Working for Callistratos, Pierre comes to realise that the Doctor is using prisoners for terrible and occasionally baffling experiments. This is a little experiment of mine to determine the effects of deep freezing on the human body. All to find a cure for his own illness. To suffer from this complaint is... must be the most terrible affliction of all time. Kind of an insensitive thing to say in front of your hunchbacked servant with his intermittently working arms and one eye escaping down his face. Carl, stay where you are. Now, there are some little issues. This is the year 1880. Not which makes the date on this tombstone 12 years in the future. It's also very slow moving. This is unfortunate. And the ending is so forced, it feels like Callistratos is deliberately sabotaging himself. Ted, let go my arm. He has a prisoner savaged by dogs. <laughs> then resurrects the man who, stunningly, isn't pleased to see him. To top this, Callistratos then drags himself into reach of his other prisoner. Who couldn't move his arms like that earlier. Finally, he's killed by the dogs. <laughs> while his guards pretend that nothing is going on. <laughs> You'll possibly just don't recognise him. At least give the stuntman fake eyebrows. <laughs> but the big issue is expectations. This isn't a horror movie, it's a prison movie. You can curse the fates that sent you here. I was a fugitive from a chain gang in merry old England. They called me a vampire. Inaccurately. And while I buy a vampire coming back to life after being staked, seen that a million times, a normal person being stitched back up after this? That looked pretty terminal. That is true. After that cracking opening with stakings, tavern wenches, <laughs> and drunk doctors, All right. The rest of it seems half-hearted and bloodless. What do you mean? But the main reason it feels like that is that it reminds us of Hammer. And although this was made before Hammer was a brand in horror, we can't help but view it through that comparison. Which is most unfortunate. Which is totally unfair, but... sucks to be you. 
Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what's up with that? Would Blood of the Vampire be a better film with a different title? How much do expectations play a part in how we judge a movie? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Once a man sets foot in this place, he never leaves.